Hello, and what? <laughs> you dumbass. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I am D Nag, and this here is. Not to. That's right, and we are your co host of the ever great DNN show. This is episode. 13? God, 13, 14 already? So, uh, we're here to tell you a couple updates on this episode because we're getting ever so closer to finally putting out gaming videos. We are getting so, so close. Within maybe the next couple weeks, we are yeah. going to be starting posting gaming videos. And they're not going to be on Fridays. Like, because Fridays are our time for the DNN show officially, but we'll start on the other days. We'll come out, we'll figure out a schedule on what video, what days we're posting videos. Um, probably even streaming, too. Yep. We're working on that as well, coming up with that, but we're, we're getting this close. And... Should we tell them, should we tell them the, uh, the people about our idea? Or should we let them let them wait and see it? We'll let them wait. We'll drop it on them. See how it goes. All right, all right. So these gaming videos aren't going to be normal videos. They're going to be there's going to be quite a, a different twist to it. That I, it could go well. I'm hoping, hoping you guys could like it. Could go horribly bad. Could go horribly bad. <laughs> it, it really depends. Depends on you guys and how you perceive the videos. Yeah, or of how you like it. It's, you know, bullshitting. And making fun of each other. Yeah. Yeah. And calling each other out. Yeah. For missing hidden tokens within the game. Hidden tokens, hidden <laughs> objects, <laughs> hidden paths. Not seeing an enemy coming up from behind you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's there, there, there's a little hint there for you. Um, that's going to be that's gonna be that because got, we got, what, I'd say like three quarters of the equipment that we need. Yeah. To um, to start streaming videos, mm. all we need is the honestly all we need is a game capture device, and uh, we'll be good. Yep. And then I'll probably mainly be focusing on games that are going to be on the PC. Um, obviously, you'll be doing more console games. Yeah. Uh, soon. The first video, the first game that I'm hoping to do is Jedi Survivor. Um, cause Come that's, on. that's coming out next week. Oh god, that just reminds me, my son might be here by next week. Yeah. So if I'm not in a future episode on a Friday, just know. <laughs> just know everything's good, and he's just kind of gonna be a father, so. Yeah. Getting closer to that, too. That's it also another actually thing. like five days away now. Yeah, we're getting, he's getting real closer to that, um. So just in case, yes, if there's ever a situation where it's just me or just me for a little bit. And obviously, I'll let you know that you can obviously tell them. Yeah. Or if, like, even after he's born, like, the first week, if I still need a day to kind of... Or who knows, you bring on a special guest. <laughs> just... <laughs> bah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You never know. Well, you could see... Uh, Little Natsu. <laughs> yeah, you could see a little version of this. <laughs> him, him, yeah, his son. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we're getting really close to that. Like I said, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll start going out with those and then we will start going ham. Yeah. So once we get that stuff figured out, post the first gaming video and then do the oh. DNN show. Yeah. On the DNN show after that, we probably will come out with like a schedule to tell you like yeah. what days that I'm what days that I'm live streaming what days that maybe we get a dual live stream yeah, like coming do like we could do like collab games yeah. or if like you get let's say you get Skyrim for your PC and I get Skyrim for my PC when I get that we could download that mod like I was talking about and just you know kind of stream that maybe or yeah go from there we'll figure it out yeah so we'll probably end up maybe you'll end up seeing a dual live stream too or if we're, we're just sitting here playing a certain yeah. 
playing a certain game, one of us is playing a game, the other one's reacting, or vice versa, or just both playing a game, or right. whatever it may be on the same live stream, you never know. And then we, I want to say we will be making some, like, funny moments completions. Yeah. And just regular gaming videos, kind of like a cut com. Um, I know I will. Yep. Because that's definitely you'll, my kind of style. Once he has his setup going, yeah. then you'll you'll probably end up seeing videos from individually me and him. Yep. Or, you know, the occasion, you know, the dual reaction gaming videos, if you want to call them that. Which I probably, I kind of just released, released the info. <laughs> info there. You spilled the beans. I spilled way to, the way beans. to go. Way to go. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it. There's going to be a couple <laughs> gaming videos that we're going to gonna be testing out. It's going to be interesting to see where it's kind of a, I'll, like, for instance, like, I'll be playing a game and you'll see me reacting to me playing the game. But you'll also see me see him over here him react playing the game and calling him out on his bullshit if he misses a hidden token or doesn't see an enemy or dies because i'll laugh at you yeah. <laughs> just so it'll be kind of almost like i suppose you could say breaking the fourth wall kind of videos yep. so i will pretty much be you guys yeah now you'll see his reactions in, while i'm playing the game so he'll he he can he can be a situation where like you know what dude that will come over there let me go through the screen I'll, I'll break you no nope. it's right there turn to the right I can't find the door you stupid <laughs> yeah so those are gonna be I think I I'm excited to make those videos me personally because I think it could be really really interesting take on gaming videos because you know, normally in gaming videos you, you see, see the one person you see just the one per yeah, yeah just the one person playing the game and you react to it yourself is yeah but I can't say unless quote quote me if I'm wrong but um, I can't say I've seen anything yeah. really like that where yeah. it's like a where you you see some people making gaming videos where you have somebody with you in the same right. room as you're playing it, but, but it's not like oh they already recorded it and now I'm reacting to it. Yeah. yeah, in the same overlay, like you have your webcam here and then the other person's either right next to it or however we set yeah. it up. You can't really say that I've seen any videos like that where you're like you're right. reacting rec reacting to the re reacting to the person playing the game and then yeah. recording that reaction and putting it on the same video. Yeah. If that makes sense. So it basically be like a reaction video but within an actual gaming video. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty much what it is. Yeah, it's a two for two for one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So those will be interesting too. I'm honestly excited to see those excited to do those because I think they could go over well. Hopefully they do. Yeah. Because then that could honestly, you know, you never know. That Lead could that could else, revolutionize yeah. gaming videos right. on YouTube. And we, you know, because I know I know for sure there's games on PlayStation that I won't be able to play on uh, Xbox mm -hmm. or PC for that matter. So yep. I could look at you playing a totally different game that I know nothing about and go, "Holy shit!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. So those. Those are going to be uh, very fun to do. Um, I can't wait to start streaming on YouTube. That'll be fun as well because we're working on setting up a stream. Yep. Um, yeah. So, so. You, pretty much all I got. So. There's a lot of games coming out pretty oh, yeah. soon that are exciting. I'm, I'm ready for uh, Diablo 4 and then next week I think I'm going to try and get um, Dead Island 2 because I know that just came out, so... Yeah, I heard Dead Island 2 is pretty good. Because I, I, if I remember, I, I thought for a second I wasn't going to be able to play it on just the first gen of Xbox One, but it's optimized for Xbox One X or S. So that means I can still play it, so, you know, I might stream it. Who knows? See how that goes. So that, yeah. yeah. Um, sorry about that. Um, what were we done? Uh, how I was probably going to be streaming some Dead Island 2. Oh, yes. Dead and Island 2 is a good game. how I'm trying to debate when I'm going to be buying Diablo 4 once it drops. Because I did play That's the open be a good beta. Game too. But for some reason the open beta like closed out of nowhere. So I haven't been able to play it. I didn't really get too far. I got to the part with those that did play the open beta. I did get to the point where 
you return from the dungeons and all that stuff, but like the first dungeon, not way into the game, but yeah. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, yeah. So I'm pretty much maybe two to three weeks away from getting my setup. And I'm pretty much the same thing. Uh, hopefully soon I'll have... Uh, hopefully before Jedi Survivor comes out, I'll end up getting the streaming device. Yep. So that way and I can make those videos. But there's that one. Is there any other games coming out? Um, I've heard... I think there's a, quite a bit coming out. I know there's a lot coming out. I just haven't been able to cover it all. Let's see here. I'm just going to take it real quick to, uh, <laughs> to uh, the channel. Uh, At least I think there's a lot of games coming out. If I remember it, I think Arc 2. Because I've been hearing talks about the second Arc. I think it's going to be more story driven. I know Vin Diesel's in it as the main character, but I'm not sure when that's going to be released. One that I'm excited for is Baldur's Gate. It's a D&D game. Mm. I did see that. I did see that on the PlayStation Store that that was announced and it's coming out in August 31st of 2023. Where you actually, as far as I know, you actually create the character or whatever. Oh, wow. And you actually do, like, when you're, an enemy attacks, you actually do, like, the save rolls and whatnot. Oh, wow. Like, it's an actual, like, D&D-style game. Yeah. Where, like, I know a while ago a D&D-style game came out, but it wasn't, like, necessarily the same thing. Like, you didn't roll anything for your attacks or whatnot. You just kind of attack people. So it was, like, yeah. it was a okay, but I didn't really play for very long. But this one I'm actually excited for because it's an actual D&D-style game. So I'll have to look and see if it's going to be on Xbox or if it's a PlayStation exclusive. I, I think it's a... No, it looks like it might go into... Um, cross-platform. Not cross-platform. I think it's but, yeah. PlayStation and PC. Okay. So definitely by August I'll have my setup. Yeah, that's... So um, I, could, I could definitely try it out. A lot of other games are coming out pretty soon here too. Um, but hopefully at some point you'll see uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2 on this channel. See if they have co-op. That co -op. will be exciting. If they have co-op. If, if they have co-op. If they have co-op, hands down, we do game of the year. That. We doing that. Hands down, game of the year. We running that. <laughs> I'm calling my opinion right now. If they have, like... Co-op where you can sit there uh, on either the online, play yeah, play. either online co-op, local co-op is what I would really like to see because not very many games do that anymore. Yep. Local co-op where you could play it, your friend plays as Miles and you play as Spider-Man, or the other way around. Be swinging around the city together. Game of the year, done, hands down. Yep. Because the first game was really good. Oh yeah. The first Spider-Man game was excellent. I loved it. See, what sucks is I didn't get to play Miles. No. Mm -mm. Because when the first Spider-Man game released, I still had my PS4. Okay. And that was, I want to say, around the time I came back up from um, where I was living down in the southern part of Iowa. Okay. So I got to play that, but I had sold my PS4 because it had gone to shit because we tried fixing the disk drive. That's right. So yeah, I, we so, did take an yeah. attempt to fix that. No, it was the disk slot that we tried oh, to fix. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, so, and uh, we broke it worse. Yeah. But I, I do <laughs> leave it to the professionals to take apart your console. Yes, do not take apart your consoles. That was terrible. We left we left that PS4 with more pieces outside of the yeah. PS4 than than were in it. The good news is Spider Man was digital though. Yes. So that does mean if I ever for some reason remember my information, I can hopefully once again re-download Spider Man. But. It's kind of too late. I don't want to go back into that game. I want to play the newer one, obviously. So maybe someday I'll go out and buy a PlayStation again. Maybe someday, you know, maybe they'll release it on PC. I don't know. Because mm. I, I do want to play Wolverine when that comes out. That one's another one that I can't wait for next year. Yep. Because I, I don't think it's been announced for this year, I don't think. No. I, I do know probably it's development, though. Probably next year, but that one's going to be a good one, too. Because yeah. I remember playing the games of the old days. Oh, yeah, so like uh, X-Men Origins, Origins, Wolverine. Yep. I remember that playing on play PlayStation 2. 
Xbox 360 yeah. is what I had it on. I remember Because originally I started out in gaming systems on the PS2, believe it or not. I started on PS1. <laughs> and then, because my dad had a PS2. And then we went to Xbox 360. Then I went to Xbox One. Then I went back to PlayStation after that. And I've been on Xbox for a while now. Um, but I grew up PlayStation. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having another PlayStation. It's just... I want to get that area of my house closed off before I add any more equipment into it. Yep. Obviously, after I get the desktop and everything. but And yeah. I, I could do a nice little setup tour for you know my personal channel and then the, our channel. Yeah, that's true. Showing off the room once it's done. But, mm. yeah. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. um, those are another games I'm excited for. Uh, anything? Thing else, I can I can't think of any other. Other than that, Assassin's Creed Mirage is mm, another one. I was just talking about that the other day. I was like, I just want it. I need it to drop so I can play it. Because as far as I've heard, they're going away from the RPG style in that one and going towards the simpler self. Yeah, kind of like the uh, the Ezio collection. Yeah, that's kind of what they're trying to go back to, which those... is fine by me. I freaking oh, yeah. love the Ezio collection. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the games that they've been coming out with are oh, great, but... But it's time to return to the old style. Yeah. <laughs> just, I could go on and on about Assassin's Creed, though, because I did a whole shit ton of digging on it. Yeah. I'll save that for a different time. That, and I'm pretty sure I've already covered it numerous amount of times in one of the episodes, so... You're also probably going to see a redo, a new game plus, I should say, of God of War Ragnarok. Um, that one will be fun because there's more skills that you can get. You can go through, back through the story and get new outfits as far as I know. Hmm. They finally did a new game plus of that, which that game was really fun. Um, I am curious to see where they go on that story. Maybe we get a standalone game of Atreus. Yeah. You no, know, because he went on... No, I, I will one. save that for spoilers, but people have already probably seen that game already. Atreus goes on his own quest at the very end. Yeah. I'm pretty sure all of you probably... Maybe all of you have seen it, maybe you haven't, but I'm not going to ruin like the ending, ending, all of it, but I can tell you Atreus goes on his own quest. Mm -hmm. On his own mission, without his father, Kratos. So maybe we see an Atreus game slash DLC for the I, game, possibly? I could see it kind of being like a Miles Morales thing. Like yes. Not, not like a big game, but kind of like just a side game to keep you... Even the Miles Morales game felt like a game on its own. Oh, yeah. A big game compared to like... Yeah. It had a really good story, too. I remember watching the YouTube videos, because, I mean, that's all I could do. But, I mean, even the just end, watching yeah, the, the ending videos, fight but... in that The ending fight in that game against his friend felt so cool. Ooh. Especially with the slow-mo motions, every time you dodged, it just hit mm. you felt so cool. You were just like, you but were in game, the moment. We get Venom. Yes. I'm hyped for that. I'm hyped to see that. Mm-hmm. This game's going to be great. You're definitely going to see that one on the channel when and it comes honestly, out. And honestly, it sounded like uh, it's going to be Venom and Craven the Hunter. I can't wait for that. Yeah. That's going to be good. So. Uh, other than that, I, I think can't I'm, think of anything else, really. I, say, I think I've covered everything I need to cover. I can't, I've also heard something about maybe God of War goes to... Um, Egypt? Or like yeah, Egyptian? Yeah, Egyptian gods. Which would probably be the next way to go. Honestly, that'd, that'd be badass. Yeah. Give him the power to turn into a flying dragon. Yeah, there's so many different mythologies I could go they into. They could go anywhere. Yeah. The next one, like, timeline-wise, wouldn't it make... It would make sense to go to Egyptian times, but... I think it would... But, I mean, like I said, there's so many mythologies out there, and, I mean, you could place them in and make the story make sense. Oh, yeah. Especially with the team that's behind the games, you could they, they did, could definitely They've do done that. such a good job on both yeah. of those games. Such a good job storyline. Because I remember playing the one they initially dropped to start things off in the Norse mythology, oh. and I fucking loved it. I did love in this game his line where the, the 
prophecy that Kratos was going to die, um, he goes, and somebody asks him, well, how, how does it feel knowing that you're going to die? That your prophecy is that you're going to die. He goes, death can have me when it has earned me. It's the <laughs> best line ever. It's just like, yeah! I'm going to kill some fuckers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway. That just to me in that game that was my best my favorite part when he looks at him in the in the middle of the cutscene goes death can have me when it has earned me I'm just like that is cool <laughs> especially with their voice actor now the guy who yeah. played um boy no yeah yeah um the guy who played in Stargate SG one he played uh, Teal okay. He's he's done a great job the last game and the time and the game before that, especially because the cur the old the old actor he passed away. Oh, I think before the set before that game came out. So they decided to have him play let me I'm gonna take a real quick second to look up his name. Christopher Judge. Oh, yes. He's I loved him in Stargate SG one. And he made a couple appearances in Stargate Atlantis. Love that one too. He does a very good job in those because he gives him a very deep like aspect to it. Yeah. And he goes like into the character. Like he even like walk like when he's practicing, as far as I've heard, he like actually like walks with like a certain like strength to like he feels the character. You have to be in that presence, which is really nice. I mean, he does a good job. Yeah. But yeah. So that's that's about it, honestly. I think I can't really think of any other any other games that are coming out at the top of my head. I know I can't. No, I've been playing the same games for like two years now. So. But we've reached a point where we're playing the same games, <laughs> over same over. set of like what I'd say four or five games, maybe. Yeah, and we're just like. Waiting for something new, and now that we have a Jedi Survivor coming out, can't wait this. to play it. I'm gonna be super excited for that game because I can't wait. Just I loved the first Jedi game, that first Jedi game, and then when after his encounter with Darth Vader, yeah. I've seen some, you know, you've seen the, the clips of like the gameplay trailer. Looks like he goes a little Star Killer mode, like just doesn't give a crap, yeah. and just goes ham on these people. I've heard that they found a really good purpose between dismemberment and not going too like extreme extreme with it because obviously you cut someone's limb off with a lightsaber it cauterizes the wound immediately so they don't bleed but right. I, that's what I've heard is that it makes it a really good like a mix between dismemberment because a lot of us extreme Star Wars fans wanted to see that because I know they didn't have they didn't have any of it in the first game. Yeah. They made a good balance between the two. And there's also what I did here as well is when you meditate, they are fast travel points now. Hmm. And you can also select two different um two different like lightsaber stances. Like you can have say you can have the single wield and the cross guard set mm. together. Yeah. Like so you can swap between the two. And then you can meditate again at a meditation point and change it up because then you can do like say like like i said the single lightsaber and then the cross guard or you can do the cross guard and the dual wield or you can do like the whole single blade dual lightsabers and then just the dual wield too i guess it and they're all like different fighting stances more some have more weak and some have like different weaknesses that others don't some are faster like the cross guard is at more heavy Heavy hitting, like slower type of moves. Yeah, but so that's gonna be a very good game that I really can't wait for. It comes out say, next week. That's definitely all you, my boy. Yeah, because I I would I, I'm not saying I hate the game because I don't. I love Star Wars. Grew up watching it. I just, I mean, I'll I'll give it a shot. Obviously, at some point in time, when I'm just on my own free time or whatever. Like I'm gonna start or, with the first one and then. Because I don't want to. Is that isn't that a PlayStation exclusive? I don't think so. I, I don't think so because I swear I've seen the first game yesterday when I was at the game store um, uptown there for Xbox. But I mean, I, c- I could be wrong. 
but mm-hmm. I'll definitely be looking for it on Steam once I get a setup, though. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure it's on PC. It could be. But yeah, I don't know how I, I don't I don't know how I how I'd feel about that game on PC though. I, don't know. I'll let I mean, you I, spo- know. I suppose I you suppose you can I suppose you can connect a controller to it, which yeah, make it because I'm definitely but. gonna get a controller for my desk. If there's like certain games that you can do that yeah. like feel like a computer game and some are are just meant for console yeah kind of like car mechanic simulator i tried that on console and i also tried it on pc it's a pc game that's all it is it's pc game because i tried it on car simulator on console it just Mm -hmm. it's just it doesn't work so it's just like to me uh, sometimes like games like that they they I, they more feel like console games that they should be compared to PC but I could be wrong as well. Yeah. It could feel different but but again like I said I've who knows. So yes, that just was we figured we'd take the second to uh take this make this episode just a quick like uh not quick update. Um yeah, update because we're getting Really close. Like I, like I said, <laughs> like we said in the beginning, we are getting this close to making, starting to make gaming videos and live streams, because that will be exciting. Yeah, and then I'll obviously be helping you out with a lot more editing-wise and thumbnail-wise and all that stuff. Yeah. And we'll both be popping videos out as soon as he gets his set up. And yep. uh, double, reaction to game, double reaction gaming videos, that's the main highlight that, I'm con- that I like, because I think it could very well... It could, it could have the chance to very well revolutionize gaming videos that you see on YouTube. You never know. I think it'd be fun. I think it will be fun. Can't wait. Um, do look out for the schedule. I Hopefully we'll go over that schedule and we'll maybe be releasing a schedule on what days. Maybe like what days I will be making videos. Or just maybe starting out making a day where we do live stream. A day where we do a video and then a day... Friday is uh, always DNN show. Maybe I mean, sometime Friday slash Saturday because yeah, because yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been through a lot in the past two weeks, so yeah. It's Work, just, yep. Work has just been a lot this week, especially with our crappy weather we have in <laughs> yeah. here in Northwest Iowa. It's more bipolar. Than snow snowstorm slash rain slash sunny weather and then slash windy all in the same day. Yeah. You get, we basically got almost all, all the excuse seasons. me, all four seasons in one day. Um, so that's going to be it for this one. Um, I think we've just about covered all of the updates that are coming out. Yeah. Uh, the NBA playoffs are now, right now, as the time of this recording, game three for Miami versus the Bucks is tonight, obviously. Um, hopefully they can pull out a win, not going to lie. <laughs> When they went, they came out of Milwaukee tied one to one, which is perfectly fine with me. I would have rather come out of Milwaukee leading 2-0 against the number one seed Milwaukee Bucks, but uh, that didn't happen. Game two, they got uh, game two. Milwaukee came out firing, and they just didn't stop. Which they're the number one seed of Milwaukee Bucks for a reason. The NBA playoffs are kind of interesting this year. And the last, some people are also injured even within the first round of the playoffs which obviously but um yeah so let's hope for a win from miami tonight you never know i know i'll be up here <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll update you if i can watch it um yeah so without uh for there, do you got anything to add my good sir all righty so now for me to do we will see y'all in the next one have a good day deuces deuces